Hola, hola. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I hope um, you guys are staying safe out there. Right now, where I'm at in California, Southern California, it decided to rain. We've been having some nice sunny days, and today it decided to rain. So hopefully it passes over, because I wanna, definitely want to get outside and paint some furniture. But um, this video, um, right now, I am... I have no new stock in jewelry, so hopefully tomorrow I could get some new stock. But I'm gonna show um, you guys stuff that has not sold, maybe stuff you stuff you've missed in previous videos, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna show pieces, so you could be entertained or possibly make a purchase. <laughs> um, I have some really really lovely pieces at some really great prices. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm just going to hop right in. And let's see here. So I have these Juicy Charms. I do collect Juicy Charms. Um, but I, I don't collect all Juicy Charms. I'm very particular about what I collect. And um, this one is a cupcake. It, it could go on a bracelet or on a necklace. It's the silver tone. She's in really good condition. Pink cupcake. And she comes with the original box. So this one I would like 20. Which is a really good deal for a Juicy Charm. Now this one I do like. But not so much where I'm going to keep it. Because... Um, I, I like the charms that like that do things, you know, they open up, they move, they wiggle, <laughs> but she's a beautiful charm. She's like a kind of like a wedding ring. Look at the design on the sides. So this one's 25 and it comes with it's original. Let me see. Is this original? Yeah. Sometimes they get mixed up with the boxes, but that's the box for that one. Yep, and this is the box for that one as well. Okay. I'm going to show you this fantastic vintage rhinestone earrings. They are clip-ons. And um, if anybody's interested, these are 10. These are really, really nice. And then I have these, um, I remember when I first started jewelry, I was on the hunt for Bakelite. Like, that was my mission. I had to get some Bakelite. But, um, this is a Bakelite cuff. And, oh, no. and to be honest, um, I always see, like, people that come across, like, the bangles or m maybe the more intricate with the carvings. Not so much the cuff. Not so much the cuff. These are both Bakelite. And if anybody's interested, um, these both are 25. 25. Um, also, if you are new, uh, welcome to the channel. And if you're interested in anything, um, in the description down below, there is my business email, which is the same as my YouTube channel soho california vintage at gmail.com if i if i have enough room i'll fit it in the title <clears throat> and um also don't forget to subscribe it's free to subscribe and then when you are subscribed you um have a chance to win future um giveaways which i do so these i bought um some months ago aren't these great Oh my God, these are so statement runway fashion. And these are these are um, for pierced ears. There is no, there is no maker's mark. They have some weight. And if anybody's interested, you could have these um, for thirty. <clears throat> Palm Hiran. Is it Palm Hiran or Miran? 
Hmm, heat on. So this one is, I love her style of necklaces. I'm going to show you another one in a bit. This one, it just has like the green cat's eyes, the faux turquoise, some brass beads, some silver. I mean, look at that. Look how fun that is. This is so cool. I'm surprised this one hasn't sold, to be honest with you. But if anybody's interested, um, this one's 15. 15. Um, she has a clasp, lobster clasp right here with five um, loops and if you need to make it tighter you could use these big ones right here mm -hmm. I have this Hello Kitty watch and it's ticking I had a brand new no bronze uh uh no I had a brand new battery put in there when I was taking some other watches I was like yeah why not um I'll do eight on this one. It's in good condition. Look at the sticker still on the back. I'll do eight on this one. And she's ticking. It's no bronze. Stop. No. I don't know why he's... <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay. Okay. Here is another juicy, um, but this isn't a charm. This is actually a necklace. And so this one is the Virgo. Virgo um, Zodiac sign. It's actually really cute. There's no wear. Look at the clasp on that. Super, super cute. Little rhinestones down the center. It says juicy on the back. If anybody wants this one. Um, I could do 15. I could do 15. On this one. Okay. Um, here is a rhinestone necklace. Kind of a little one. It does have a long extender on it. And I believe this one is Crown Trafari. Let's see here. There's a maker's mark. <clears throat> yeah, this one's Crontrafari. She's gold tone with rhinestones. Really nice. So if anybody wants this one, I'll do eight. I have another Hello Kitty watch. This one is still in its plastic. And it looks like the, the top opens up. So it looks, you know, kind of like a... It's just a hidden watch. Very, very cute. Um, I'll do ten on this one. Then I have, I'm going to end up losing money on this one. I already know. I paid up for this one. So these are Swarovski earrings. We have the lovely deep faceted red crystals with the bracelet, matching bracelet. And it does have the swan logo. I could tell you right there. There we go. She's a fun piece. I love these deep rides. It reminds me of the Victorian era. So if anybody wants the earrings with the bracelet, I'll do 15. I think that's either exactly what I paid or I paid more. This one's actually an interesting piece. I've had quite a bit. This is listed on eBay, and I actually had quite a bit of people interested in this. One even offered, I accepted, and they didn't pay. This is by John Wind, I believe. Yeah, John Wind. So it's 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 a very tight fit. It's a choker. 
but she's a really really fun piece with the with the um I don't know if these are real pearls on the side this is definitely not a real pearl look at right here there is an indentation but it looks like it's kind of part of the design and it could be twisted if you don't like it you know to go in the back the John Wynn pieces go for a, a really good amount of money so if anybody wants this I could do 12 here is a what we call a, a Tibet style cuff I just like the, the work on this look at that it's not silver it's uh, Tibet silver this one's really really fun if anybody wants this I could do five and here I have some really really fun um, brooches look at this big mama Uh, that would have been fun for St. Patty's. So, this is what I'm going to do with these. These are 10 each. But if you want to buy all three, I'll give, it, give them to you for 25 This one's really big. I will put... Look at this. Look how big she is. So she's about three and a half by three. Well, three by three. Oh, um, yeah. And don't forget, if you are interested, please send me a screenshot. I prefer a screenshot so I know what you're talking about. Um... In the email. Okay. Then I have this. I bought this for myself. I just I liked the vintage box. Okay. This says genuine jade pendant earrings and a brooch. So there is a little bit of fading up here. Here's the pin, brooch, and the pendant. So if anybody wants this set, you could have it for 10. I just want to move a lot of this jewelry out because I'm, I'm, um, it's just like a lot right now. I need to move some, you know, a lot of it out. This I'm going to lose money on because I bought this for my personal collection of cameos. Um, and not that it's not lovely. I just had a different expectation from the photos. This says Joanne Jewels. So this, I believe, is the original. Look at Never Used. And if anybody wants this fantastic cameo pen, it's 15 has the original box it's very very clean and it's gold. fantastic this is a Betsy um, bracelet it's really cute and it has four well actually more like two because then one would have to go like this and then one would have to go like this She's fun. I do collect Betsy, but I'm more into like the uh, the big chunkier pieces or if I do find like her little um beady, you know, jewelry in my in my mystery in my mystery bags, I'll keep it. But um if anybody wants this, I'll do 7. There's like nowhere on this. I have some. Okay, here we go. Well, I. Oh, I lost an earring somewhere. Okay. 
Oh no, that's a pen. That's a pen. So I have these earrings. I don't know why they haven't sold. They are so great. They remind me of like a Rivoli style. But the the point, the apex is flattened out and there's a rhinestone right there. They have like a blue green. They have a blue green. Kind of like a mermaid. Okay, I'm trying to get in my hand without. Do you see that? And they kind of look like a flower. Did these have a name on them? No. And I could do 10 on these. And then these are also great. These are so cute. So, um, I think this is really a deep, deep, deep blue kind of like a blackened blue maybe. Like it doesn't look like blue. But if you stare at it, it might be like a deep midnight blue. But here we have cherubs in the middle. These are lovely. They're lovely. If anybody wants these, these are 12. They're clip-ons. Okay. Um, I also have these clip-on vintage earrings. I think these are Trafari. These are Crown Trafari. So, Crown Trafari is not the modern stuff. I'm trying to take a look at, maybe. There's a little, I think it's part of the design though. Let me see here. Okay, so this is what they look like. There is a little line right here, but it doesn't feel like damage. It's like flushed in. So, if anybody wants these, you can have them for five. I mean, if you're wearing them, you can't see. Super fun vintage pieces. Okay, so now um, I have this KJL pen. This is actually real sterling. I tested it, the shoe. And it looks like these possibly might be, maybe, calla lily, some sort of plant. This is real sterling. So if anybody wants this pen, it is 20. And this is vintage KJL, Kenneth J. Lane. Okay, so. Oh, I love this necklace. This one is Palm. Oh, you know what? It's not heat on. It's meat on. <sighs> Wait, is it heat on or meat on? I've known this name. Why am I questioning? <laughs> no, it's heat on. Yeah, it's an H. So I don't know. Look at this. This one, I can't believe this one hasn't sold. Look at how fun this is. Would have never thought that collabing these different colors would have mesh so well. But it makes sense because look at the different shapes coming across right here. We have square. We have um, circular beads. We have square faceted. We have the caviar beads. Okay. So I'm willing to let this one go for 20, which is a still of a deal. Still of a deal. I think I have this listed on my eBay for like 50. Um, I can't find the same one out in the market currently, unless since I've last looked, somebody also put one on, but um, that's a still of a deal. Usually you see more of these. But still, even at that, those are nice. 
Okay, I don't know who is the maker on this one. And I know I paid a lot um, thinking it was J. Crew, but there's so many designers who have that same clasp that if it's not marked, it's so hard to determine if it's J. Crew. This has some weight. This is a heavy mama. If anybody wants this, she has 10. She has 10 dollars, $10. I see something else. However, let me see here. I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to fix this. That's just the thing, I just don't have the time. Um Hmm. Okay, I need to refocus. Okay, so this is an articulated Winnie the Pooh. He's in perfectly good condition. His little his little um feet move. What brand is he? I guess Disney made him. He has some weight. I know that this wasn't cheap. His arms move. He's just a little cutie patootie. He has all his stones except for boom right there. Which I had planned to uh, fix him up. It's not that bad. Okay. I mean maybe somebody could fix him up with the red stone. He has, he's heavy. He's really, really heavy. So if anybody wants them as is, he's $8. If you want me to fix that stone for my, you know, because I, I can't let him go for no less than 20 So you could do take as is 8 or I could fix them up for 20 We'll just have them sit down right there. You sit down right there, Winnie the Pooh. No, you said no. You oh, you broke your leg. Come on, come on. Okay, you're not gonna sit down, right? Let's see here. There you go. Just chill out right there. Okay, so this I don't know. If this is lapis, what is going on? There's a little, there's, we got some white matrix in there. So it's, it's a gorgeous piece. And I don't remember if I tested this for silver, this, this, um, bill. Oh, nine out of 10 times these are real silver. I don't know. I don't remember if I tested it. But if anybody wants this pendant, look how big it is. I'll do eight. I'll do eight on that. Okay. This is a vintage, ooh, uh, Spide Owl. This is a gold electric plated right there. It's a fold over clasp. works really good and it's blank you could engrave it with anything you want it's for a small wrist maybe even possibly a, a young child well no not a young child but it's for a small wrist you have to engrave it but I it is marked again right there I a lot of times they're already engraved you don't see them this clean so this is 10 And then here we have this fun pendant. We got the druzy inside. 
and it just has like the gold dip on the outside. It's not real gold. You can wear it as a pendant. And if anybody wants this one, I could do um, I could do seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What brand is this? I remember I said, oh, 2028. So this is a 2028 necklace. We just have the green, the green faceted um, little beads. I think I got this more for like, is this part of nine, an extension of 1928? Isn't that gorgeous? If anybody wants it, you could, we could do eight. Eight on this one. Ocho. Mm. I have these earrings. These are, um, they're squares. We have silver tone and gold tone. And if anybody wants these, we could do five. We're gonna do five for those bugaroonies. Okay, I think I just have, oh, wowzer. No, I have a lot more, I think. Um, I know I've gone over probably like 50 plus pieces, but we're gonna go over some more. Here's some cinnabar. There are no cracks in the middle. Oh, she feels so nice. If anybody wants this piece, she is 20. Mm. Let's do 15. Let's do 15. I'm just going based off of the, the pattern. Let's do 15. Okay. And then, oh, this one is so pretty. And I think, let me see here. You know what? Is that glue? I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, so I actually had seen this recently and I pulled it out and I was just very, very heartbroken with well, it's not that bad. So this piece, we gotta move the other pieces over. She has a grand entrance. Look at how Gorgeous this is, okay? Gorgeous. I thought possibly J. Crew, maybe another line I've never, another um, brand name I've never heard of, but it's actually Talbot. I was really surprised. So I was like, girl, Talbot? Okay. So, she's beautiful, okay? Look at this big stone right here. No scratches. I don't see any scratches up here or up here. But then when I get down here, not on the big stone, when I get down here, there's a scratch right there. And I don't know what's going on right here with this stone. Maybe it could be cleaned up. It looks like maybe ugh, a chemical was put on it. I mean, within, after so much time, this, this AB layer, that's all it is over AB crystals. It's a coating that make, that gives it that iridescence. It wears out and it scratches up. These aren't real ABs, but it's the color of an AB. It's not like AB Swarovski. So, uh, let's see here. Okay, she's a little stuck now. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. So, 
see from far away, you can't really tell, if, especially if you're wearing it. The flowers are fine. There's no chips. But um, if anybody wants her, I could do 16. She is worth a lot, lot more. But I'm just considering the fact of, you know, she is, I mean, she, that part right there. Mm, I love this piece. I'm actually sad. Love this piece. So this one's 16. Okay. Oh, this one's a fun one. Let's see here. My Joan Rivers is still around. Let me see her. Is that okay? Um, let's move this one over. So, this is a druzy, a faux druzy. This actually has the original tag, it, it just came off after a while, like when I was handling it too much. But I'll send the original tag. I sold the the all gold one, I believe, for about 30 or close to 30 on eBay. But I have this one. If anybody wants her, she is 15. She is Joan Rivers. Then I have this fun piece. And some of you may remember this one. I don't know what, what they are. Cherry apple dangles. This one's really, really fun. And I remember one of the little one of the little tips over here was missing a stone. But now I can't find it. Is it this one? Yep. So that one right there is missing a stone. I mean, it's not that obvious, and it, it faces down. But if anybody wants this one, I could do 12. Okay. I can do 12. I also have this. Um, this either goes, it could go as a key ring or on a purse. But this is a coach tag gold tone looks like brown leather and if anybody wants this one it's five I'll do five on this one I remember when I was in my early 20s I was a fanatic over coach and I had pretty much any size any color you name it and then I just realized like how much they overcharged like dramatic well a lot of places do but they're significantly was over ch charging their purses and the way I found out was because my best friend's friend worked in a store and she was a manager so she would give us all the um all the uh you know the inside info and of course but at that point there was already thousands spent into coach but yeah so I I I kind of well I don't care for coach, but sometimes when I do see a purse, I was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, wow, that's coach, you know, but okay. So here's a Juicy Couture Silver Tone Link Bracelet. Some of you may remember this a few videos back. The signature, the sign, the maker's mark is right there with a stone. She's in very good condition. She comes with the original box. If anybody wants her, she is 20. And she has some weight to her. Some weight. What did I do with... I'm losing my mind. Okay. Um, I think... I have a few more.
Hmm. Okay. Just trying to see which ones I'm going to pull out for the video. So I have these bobble bar still in the card earrings. And they got some weight to them. They're kind of like a... They have like a... I don't want to say rose gold. More like maybe a light, light copper. In between like a rose gold and a light copper. But they're they're in the gold family. These are... Look at still with the tag. These are great. If anybody wants these, these are... I'll do six. I'll do six on these. These are, these are fantastic. Fabulous. Fabuloso. And then, let's see here. I don't even know what I paid for this. The tag saying 15. Uh, from the community. So this is a Betsy Johnson. It looks like one of her, oh, the, the sticker's right there, but I'll get it off. We have the um, leopard, I forgot which is which, leopard cheetah print with the roses, with the skull. It needs a battery, and I think the sticker is still on the back. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe not, I don't know, maybe it just needs a little cleaning on the edge, but she's in great condition. If anybody wants her 15, I'll do 15. And then I bought these and I just, oh, I just thought they were so great, so fun. Look at, there's fabric, we got rhinestones. It's like on a stainless steel. It's made very, very well. These are great. How could you not like these? So if anybody wants these. Um, oh no. I have to f put some glue right there. She's coming a bit loose right there. See, so yeah, I'll just put a little bit of glue right there. But if anybody wants these, I'll do 10. Two for 10. And last but not least, because I've gone over a lot of pieces. I found this in a lot, and this is actually a no-name brand, if I could find it. It's like Danon something. Oh yeah, it's um... They are um... They're tulips, I believe. And... You know what? I don't recall if this was silver. Hmm. Well, these go for a pretty penny. So if anybody wants these, they have we have the silver with the gold tone little leaves in between the little stations. And um I will do 25 for that one. I don't know if it's real silver. If it is, I don't I don't remember. If it is, well then, you know, even better for you. But if not, it's still a great piece. It's still a great piece. Okay. So, there you have it, folks. And hopefully tomorrow, um, if I get a chance to go to the community, I could get a bag. I'm not, you know, um, fighting <laughs> over a bag with somebody. <laughs> oh, usually it's men up in there and I'm like, really? Like, <laughs> oh, so, um, but yeah, I just, or some, or some just fun pieces. It just takes the fun out of it. If somebody, if I'm in line, I'm waiting and then I go in and then somebody else is walking fast on the side of me because I know that they want a bag. It's just like, ugh, come on, really? 
Um, but <laughs> oh God, I gotta have a laugh about it, right? Okay, guys. So if you guys are interested in anything, um, go ahead and email me. Um, I am here. And typically, I get to everybody's emails really, really fast. Um, if not, it's because I'm in the middle of something. Don't worry. I will respond, and I'll let you know if it's avail available or what's sold or what not. But don't get scared like I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you, you know. Okay, everybody have a good one. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Soho California Vintage is signing off.